Hello friends, in this video presentation, I'm going to show you light dependent register. Let me show you how an LDR looks like. This is how an LDR is. On the top, it has a photo register, which will detect the light intensity and depending upon that, it will generate some value. So this particular LDR can be used to enable or disable uh, an electronic gadget based on the intensity. Okay, so what I'm going to do over here is I have created, I made use of Node MCU, which is connected with a photo register right over here, and it's already on. So if I bring my mouse, my finger right over here, if you see, see, the LED is glowing as long as the finger is right over here. If I drip my finger apart, the LED gets off. Again, if I bring it close, it's on. If I drift it, it's off. On, off, on, off. So this is what this program is going to do. And uh, since I'm making use of Node MCU rather than Arduino, so definitely uh, there is something related with internet will also come in picture in the, in, the in the next part of the video. So let me just go through the block diagram of uh, this program. I'm using the Node MCU and the LD LDR is connected with the A0 and it will be receiving three volt. And along with that, there is also a register and the register is connected with the LDR. One end is connected with the LDR, and the other end is connected with the ground, okay? So now what I will be doing is, let me go through the code snippet. A0 will provide it as an input for the pin. Uh, I've, I've created a variable called sensor pin, which will be used for taking input from the user, like what you saw from here. The finger is providing the input to this LDR and it's connected with A0 and uh, a0 will be providing some value and that value i need to store in another variable and for that reason i've used the sensor value the moment uh, the finger is coming close to the ldr you saw that the led is blinking and the led is connected with the digital pin one and that's the reason i've created a variable over here as well which will be used to generate the output okay so the ldr is going to receive the import and led is going to generate the output so analog read is the function which will be reading the value from the LDR and that will be stored in this variable and then we are going for a comparison. So based on the comparison, so this is where the switching logic comes in. If the value is below 20, the LED will be enabled and a message will pop on the monitor. Otherwise, the LED will be off like what you can see right now. Okay, so let me burn this particular code so that you get to see how it is working and I will be switching on my serial monitor as well. Let me show you right over here to see the value changes that takes place. Okay, meanwhile, I tell you that the value which we will be getting from our LDR, I have a plan of storing this value in a web site, in a website, okay, that will be developed by us only. And uh, I will be using a web server language like uh, PHP which will be using MySQL. Okay, and here the value is coming, great. The value in the range of 60, not bad. Now what I'm going to do is I will bring my finger and definitely there will be some changes. So let's check out. So here is my finger and I bring it. Oh, that's nice. The values immediately got down to 14. And you see the LED is blinking. The moment I lift up, again, it is back. As I bring it down, it's on, off, on, off. So this change of the value which I was trying, which I was referring to, I wish to store it in a web server, and for that reason, I will be bringing PHP. So my perception is not just to limit the concept of IoT only. I want that it should be extended to other platform, other domain, and the value once it gets to in the cloud in the server, I can use some other technology to read the value so that the end user can effectively make use of IoT in a much larger scale. That's what I'm targeting at, okay? So from this video presentation, I just go you, I just give you a small view about how this LDR can work on. And definitely in the next video, you will see that this value which is getting generated, how I will be using this value to store in PHP and MySQL. So just keep watching for my video. So until then, have a nice time. Thank you.